In this video, we'll talk about Mixcraft 8's expanded loop and sound effects library and navigation. In addition to Mixcraft's huge onboard loop, sample, and sound effects library, you can also directly link and access Windows Explorer directories and browse and download sounds from freesound.org, which is an awesome huge online library of free sounds. There's also a handy favorites tab for quick access to your favorite sounds. To start browsing sounds, click on the library tab over here. And the next thing we want to look at are these buttons right here. These tell Mixcraft exactly where to look for sounds. By default, Mixcraft goes to the book icon over here, and this lets us browse Mixcraft's internal library of sounds. So if you've used Mixcraft before, you should be familiar with this. This has all the categories. And we can select which library to look at and narrow it down with the sort by categories. For the basics of browsing and auditioning loops, check out the loop preview and content filtering video in the Using Mixcraft Loops and Library chapter of Mixcraft University online. If you use the book icon, this is just like browsing in Mixcraft has been for a long time, except we've souped it up with a pretty gray and black interface here. But if we move along over here, you can see there's a folder icon. Now, this is a new feature, and this does something pretty neat. Here you can add Windows Explorer directories for fast and easy access to sound files. So let's click on one of those guys, and I'm going to navigate to a folder full of sounds. And now that I've found the folder I want to add, I'll hit OK. And here's the folder I've added. Now I can audition sounds and drag them into the Mixcraft workspace just like any other sound. You can add as many directories as you like by just clicking the Add Folder button here. And you can remove directories by right-clicking and clicking Remove. Keep in mind when you remove them, you're just removing them from the Mixcraft interface. You're not affecting anything on your actual hard drives. So you're not going to delete any content. Next, we have the freesound.org button. This lets you access sounds from freesound.org, which, as mentioned, is a huge online library of free sounds. The only thing to be aware of with these sounds is that their use is just governed by what's called a Creative Commons license. And depending upon the person who created the sound, there can be different license types. And if you click here, you can see these three types of licenses. These are fully explained in an appendix in the Mixcraft 8 user manual, but the basic thing you need to know is that public domain means you can use it however the heck you want for anything at all times, no problem. Uh, attribution means you have to give credit for using it. And attribution non-commercial means that you have to give credit for using it, and it cannot be used for commercial purposes like, say, a TV commercial or a radio spot or a television show or something like that. But like I mentioned, there are full details on the Creative Commons licensing in one of the appendixes of the Mixcraft 8 user's manual. Anyway, this pop menu over here allows you to filter freesound.org content by the type of license. Now, if you're not concerned about which kind of license, you can just leave it on the default setting of all license types. To search the freesound.org library, it's just like searching any other library. You click up here in search, and say we're looking for a uh, sound of a violin. I'll type violin, I'll click the little magnifying glass, and there it goes. You can also see that, like the standard Mixcraft library, there are categories up at the top. These are a little different for the freesound.org library. Freesound.org library sounds can be auditioned like any other sound in Mixcraft by clicking on the little player over here, but they will have to download first. Now there's a couple interesting things to be aware of here. First of all, because these are all online sounds, obviously they have to download before you can put them into one of your projects. So once a sound is downloaded, I can drag it up to my project and play it like any other sound. But Mixcraft is pretty smart. You can actually just drag a sound straight out of here without even downloading it or previewing it. And you'll see that Mixcraft will actually do the download. Downloading. And there it is. And it'll play. But odds are you're going to want to preview it before you actually drag it into a song. As mentioned, freesound.org contains a huge variety of sounds and sound types that can be used in lots of different ways in Mixcraft. For example, if we search 909 loop, here we have a bunch of dance style loops, and we'll start by previewing one. Rockin'. Now I can drag this straight to a track, and create a song. And as you can see, a lot of these say the beats per minute in them, so you can match that up by typing in the correct beats per minute here. This is a little different from Mixcraft's internal library because Mixcraft doesn't have any way of knowing what the tempo of these loops are, so you'll have to manually put it in. But now if I put the click on, it locks up. Also over here I should mention the description category. Let me scroll over a little bit. 
These will give you information about the particular sound. You can resize the width of the column over here, but a lot of these will be too long, so if you click on one and hover over it, you'll be able to see the whole thing. This one's going off the screen a little bit because of my screen capture size, but on your computer, you'll be able to see it, I promise. Another thing freesound.org is good for is single hit sounds, like drum sounds, for example. So let's say we search for a kick drum. A ton of these are gonna pop up. And we could take these and put them into, say, like an Omni sampler. I just happen to have one set up. And we can listen to some of these. Oh, let's go with this guy. And I can drag that straight into an Omni sample location. And, and we can just keep pulling these in. Freesound.org also has tons of non-musical sound effects that are really useful for anything from commercials to movie soundtracks to you name it. Uh, let's say we were looking for applause, for example. Let's go with polite applause because nobody likes impolite applause. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to drag this into my track. And here we go. It's in my project. You can see there's some silence on the beginning of that, so I would probably put my arrows over that, move that over a little bit, move that over a little bit. Much better. Thank you. No, really, thank you. Don't be afraid to search anything in here because there's a lot of different kinds of sound effects in here. Um, let's say I was looking for a restaurant ambiance. Hey, look at that. Korean restaurant. High ceiling, very important. So I think you get the idea. There are literally thousands and thousands of different sound effects on freesound.org. So it, it makes a fabulous resource for soundtrack and uh, commercials and all kinds of things. I want to point out one other thing. There's a downloaded selector button here. And what this does is this only shows sounds that you've downloaded to Mixcraft. So you can see the uh, violins we were just fooling around with. And here's some other sounds that I had downloaded at one point. A couple other things to be aware of. Uh, these little diamonds right here, these indicate the type of Creative Commons licenses, with green being full public domain, yellow being attribution, and red being non-commercial attribution. And you can see it says right here also, there's a category that shows you. And another thing to be aware of are these stars right here, which is going to segue us right into our next category. Um, if I click star over here, these are our favorites. Now, I don't have anything tagged as favorites right now. But if you look in all the categories of sounds, let's go back to our standard Mixcraft library, you can see there's a little star column over here. These let me favorite the sound. So let's say, that's my favorite bass sound, and another favorite bass sound, and hey, I really dig this choir over here, and that one too. Now when I click on the little star over here, you can see those sounds show up in my favorites category. So this is a really handy way to have quick access to sounds you really like. And these favorites can be applied not only to the Mixcraft library, but to anything in the Windows directory. Here's some sounds that are from a folder I have in the Windows directory. I can favorite that and that. And even to sounds I've downloaded from freesound.org. Uh, here are the sounds I've downloaded. I can favorite these tractors over here. And there they are. Now one important thing to know about favoriting sounds from freesound.org, if I deselect the button for downloaded sounds by clicking search up here, now we're back to the search mode. And you can see that there is no star here. Is one on this one because we already downloaded this sound. So you can only favorite freesound.org sounds that you've already downloaded. So uh, let's, for example, preview this. It'll download it. And now you can see the star appears. So if I click the star and go over here, there's that violin spiccato. And you can always unfavorite sounds from any of these windows by clicking the star again. And now if I go back and forth, those will be gone. But you can also unfavorite them from any of the other windows as well.